This year's team is one of a kind. For the first time, we've had a group of athletes that can fill all of those spots. I think we were all like really nervous to like have it at the school. We were so excited at the same time that so many people were going to come. So it was like nerve wracking, but we were all so happy. When we got there, it was such like it was very like loud and energetic. And since we were at our own school and there were so many people to like come out and support us, and everyone was there and everyone was cheering our names, it was a really like good place to be. The way that they were introduced onto the floor, the, the crowd, the family, the friends that were behind them was beyond our expectations. They are uh, strong, they're committed, they're incredibly talented, but all as a result of the amount of work that they do. So I think the description is uh, of this year's team is really a reflection of Robin and Casey. They're just an amazing group of girls who love the sport, who train as top level athletes, and they're awesome. This year we had some great girls on the team, so the chemistry was really there. And I mean, we worked as a team, we believed in each other 100%, and you know, we wanted the best for each other, so I think that's what made it so special. I think gymnastics at Woodside Academy has started to become a phenomenon. It's, uh, I know it's expected every year of them to be amazing, but they really are amazing athletes. The event that is most difficult is the ability to be committed and come in here when nobody's watching, when even the coaches may not be in here, and do the things that you need to do in order to be better. Grace and Paige, the two seniors, have really led this team and have taught them so much about themselves that have really brought out a lot of confidence in the other girls. So the leadership has just kind of just keeps being passed down um, and it, it's really special. We wanted to do really well for the team this year, for ourselves and for Grace and Paige since they're leaving. It's good because we all have high standards for ourselves and we push each other and ourselves to be up to that standard. I don't think I could have wrote a different ending for it. It's kind of crazy to think. Um, when I was a freshman, I don't think I really understood the difficulty in winning New England's because it seemed to come easy as a freshman. But then having my sophomore and junior year be like a defeat, I definitely realized how difficult it actually is to come out on top. So to be able to kind of reconquer that original championship was amazing and I'm just so grateful to have lived it and like I didn't really realize going into New England's how much that meat meant to me and like going to be able to look back on it and know that we came out on a win is insane. Being able to say that you go to Woodstock Academy and people like knowing that our team is such a success, it's really good. We really wanted that win this year and so we got it. It's amazing like to even be a part of this team and to show that our team's been strong even as the years go on. really good about knowing when's like too much and when's enough. Beast mode because that is Paige's favorite song. I woke up in beast mode. <laughs> That's how I would have. Yeah, put it. Um, we're working 50 hours a week. Well, it's not bad. I'm not forgetting the question. <laughs> These lights are a little <laughs> intimidating. <laughs>